you're going to save so much money. Not only that, you're going to make so much more money because you found someone that gels with the culture. They ramped up and they're producing from day one. Hello, hello again, and welcome back to another video, guys. In this video, we're going to be going over some myths about recruitment agencies that people might have about us. And I'm excited to kind of get into this with you. And feel free, if you are jazz as I am, to give us a like, subscribe, click that bell. It would really help out a fellow recruiter. Have some energy to get through this video with you all. So if you're joining here for the first time, welcome. My name is Preston. I've been in recruitment recruiting for almost a decade. My first job was able to work my way up from the bottom to the top out of 300 recruiters nationwide, was able to do half a million dollars on my own desk, no handouts, was able to surpass $100,000 in a single month, multiple times. And in 2015, I decided to kind of work for myself, take a bet against myself, and for the rest is history. Was able to kind of replicate the same level of success, and since then was able to do multiple sudden figures worth of placements to date. One of the main reasons why I like to kind of make these videos is just kind of share with you some things I learned from my own experience. If you agree, if you don't agree, that's totally cool. My only hope is that it can give you value so that maybe one day we can cross paths, work together, help each other out, and uh, that'd be pretty awesome. In today's video, we will be exploring the true value and the role of recruitment agencies in the job market. Our goal in this video is to debunk common myths and misconceptions that often surround recruitment agencies and to demonstrate how they can be really valuable for hiring managers, founders, HR professionals, any employers and job seekers out there. We just give so, so much value. It should be a win, 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 win for everybody. Myth number one, recruitment agencies are too expensive. Well, you know what? Many employers actually hesitate to use recruitment agencies because they believe the costs are too high. Well, what's the cost of not being able to use an effective agency and keeping your jobs open for a prolonged amount of time? How much more time and how many resources are going out of the window you're leaving on the table because you can't optimize your team's performance because you cannot find the right person for your job? That's a question back at you. But it's very easy to understand though and be empathetic that they worry about the fees charged by agencies, which are typically a percentage of the candidate's new higher salary. The way I like to see it is that using a recruitment agency should not be an affordable route. It definitely requires resources, but also we use a lot of resources on our end to find the candidates. We use online methods, offline methods. We invest into a lot of different tools to be able to sync and maximize engagement with the candidates. It's not just all going into our pocket. It goes into our team. It goes to our greater team, our outsourcing team. A lot goes into behind the scenes and how search is made and how we're able to effectively deliver for companies over and over again. Now, the thing about this view though is that it overlooks factors that I touched upon that demonstrates the value and cost effectiveness of using a recruitment agency in the first place. One way to think about is while there is an upfront cost associated with hiring a recruitment agency, it often proves to be actually a cost effective solution in the long run. Well, you get better reduced time to hire, you get lower advertising costs, you get reduced risks of bad hire, low overhead costs. I feel like finding the perfect recruitment agency is like finding the perfect business partner because one of the best things that you need for any business is is the right talent for your role. If you can find the right partner to find you the right people for your team, you're gonna save so much money. Not only that, you're gonna make so much more money because you found someone that gels with the culture, they ramped up and they're producing from day one. Did you just start your own recruitment agency and are struggling getting your own clients? Are you thinking about starting your own agency but afraid to make the jump? Do you have your own clients but you're struggling to find the perfect cans fast? Do you have a full-time job and want to do recruitment part-time to make more money on the side and have no idea how to? If you answered yes to any of these questions, please consider joining our private community. It is a trust-based community where recruiters around the world can support, collaborative, and work together on placements all around the year consistently. In this community, you will directly have access to the real open jobs of my team and of our members. And you will also have the chance to access trainings, events, giveaways, and much, much more. If you are part of this community, I communicate and work with you as if you were on my own team, and I'll do whatever I can to do a placement together with your client or candidate. So so if you're struggling to get your own clients or candidates and you want a way you can make sure you can be busy all year round by having access to many more open roles, then this is something you need to look into. This is open to people around the world and is open for recruiters in every industry and experience levels as we will always have a good number of variety of open jobs across sectors, markets, and industries. I'm really happy to say that within the first 30 days, we have already have a new member with minimal recruiting experience do his first placement that had a total fee of almost 30,000 US dollars and we are working 
working hard to do many, many more this year. If you are interested and excited, there are only a limited number of spots open, so make sure you sign up quick at patreon.com slash recruiterpreston. If you have any questions, please reach out to me on LinkedIn, Instagram, or Discord. We can set up a time to chat. See you on the other side. For employers, agencies will save time and resource by managing the entire hiring process. They often work on a performance-based model, and most agencies don't charge any fees, providing access to job opportunities and resources at no cost. The recruitment agencies can fill positions in a fraction of the time compared to traditional recruiting, which is, what is that? You need to hire, you go to a job board, you push post, and then you get hundreds of resumes. 99.9% .9 are a bad fit. The 1% might be too junior, might be too senior, might be too overqualified, might not be interested, and you have to repeat that process over and over and over again. With the recruitment agency, you find the partner, you tell them what you want, you make sure you're aligned, and we go out there and find you and build you an amazing pipeline of not only one rock star, like 10 rock stars consistently every single week so that you know you can find the right person. They're coming to you pre-qualified, pre-vetted. Everyone has exactly what you're looking for and it makes the hiring experience that much better. Just overall faster turnaround, less stress, and immediate results and time and money savings off the bat. Number two, recruitment agencies only provide temporary workers. Well, actually many agencies specialize in a range of industries and job levels from entry to executives. Whatever you need to hire, whatever types of roles and jobs you're looking for, there is an agency out there that's perfect for you and types of roles you're going for and the type of industry or market or sector that you're in. They can do everything from temp or contract to hire, seasonal jobs, full-time permanent hires, industry-specific jobs. What you see from my channel is just one fraction, a drop in the vast ocean of recruitment agencies and the different business models that, that you'll find in our industry. I do full-time mainly, but again, whether that's contracting, temp to hire, whether it's seasonal or temp, there is something for everybody. So make sure that you do your research, go to Google, go to Yelp, use your network to find an agency that matches with what you're looking to do. Myth number three, agencies don't understand our company culture. Well, agencies actually prioritize understanding an organization's culture to make sure that a candidate are actually a good fit in terms of both skills and values. When we talk to a new company, we spend a lot of time, whether it's in person or on the phone or in Zoom, to really understand the culture, not just in the team level, but also the culture in the office level and what makes that company tick. What is the X factor? What are you guys doing different? Why should someone think about even joining your team? What, in your opinion, thinks is the competitive advantage? We go deep, 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 deep to really understand this. Why? So that we can effectively convey this to the candidates. The more that they know about the job, but not just the job, but also the culture, the environment of the company, the way that you can paint it, picture it, their present and future after they join is gonna get them more and more excited. You can get a lot stronger buy-in from candidates to actually engage with you, but most importantly, to engage with the company and their whole interview process. There are many reasons why company culture matters in recruiting. Some of them are that you can attract like-minded individuals, right? Some people care about X, Y, and Z. If you don't talk about A, B, C, or X, Y, and Z openly and publicly and effectively, you're not gonna be able to attract those people looking for that. Prioritize employee engagement, right? People really care about this kind of stuff. And even though salary and benefits is really, really important. It's just one piece of the puzzle that candidates need to feel good and comfortable about for them to make a decision they're excited about. It supports collaboration and innovation. You wanna try to find people with different backgrounds, different points of views, different kind of ways or mindsets so that when they join, you have a diverse pool of people. It creates an amazing opportunity to just have a lot of different discussions, collaborations, and hopefully innovations from that. It also just creates a really positive reputation, like really understand the culture and have a really strong culture will separate you from any other company doing the exact same thing literally in your same city or same state. It separates you apart, it leaves an impression, it builds your reputation, and overall makes you just more memorable in hopefully a good way. Myth number four, success fee only models are better than retainer models. So choosing between success fee and retainer models depends on the specific needs and priorities of the client. It could be how much they're also they're hiring, what kind they're hiring, what's the seniority. The success fee or the contingent fee might work for perhaps lower level or one-off positions where cost savings are critical and multiple recruiters can be engaged. Retainer fee could be more preferable for higher level, maybe specialized roles where quality, dedication, and a positive candidate experience is more and more important. Let's talk more about the key characteristics. So when it comes to the payment structure, for success fee, the client usually pays once when the can is actually hired. When it comes to retainer, typically a client will pay an upfront fee, usually in, and then installments, regardless of the hiring outcome, maybe something afterwards, a success fee tacked on at the end, but obviously 
obviously a lower percentage than as if you were going to do a contingent. The fee structure often includes a portion paid at the start, during the process, and upon completion. What are some of the risks for recruiters? Well, when it comes to success, the risk can be very high because you're not paid for your time. You only paid when you actually make a hire. So you don't actually get paid and there's no guarantee you will get paid if you're not successful. Retainers, well, the risk is lower because you can receive payments in a more stable, consistent manner, which obviously would help a lot of people when it comes to just stress and just overall ease. What about commitment level? Well, when it comes to success, it's often lower from both the recruiter and the client across the board because recruiters can prioritize multiple assignments at the same time. And perhaps if they have an assignment here with a better fee percentage, they might just spend more time on that than others that are charging them a lot lower fee. Now, when it comes to retainer, it's higher for both the recruiter and the client. Why? The client's paying you, but also the recruiter because you're receiving the money, you are more compelled to actually deliver and making sure that you get the job done. What about suitability? So when it comes to success-based, it's typically best suited for lower level positions or roles that attract a large number of candidates. For retainers, it's ideal for higher level, maybe with those that are specialized or executives where a thorough and dedicated search potentially is necessary and warrants more of a retainer model. Myth number five, agencies are only for large companies. Agencies actually serve businesses of all sizes, understanding that each has unique staffing needs and offering solutions to meet those needs. We've worked with Fortune 500s, but we also work with pre-seed venture-backed startups with a team of five or three, right? Depending on your need and specialty, we can engage companies, nonprofits, agencies, all types of businesses, as long as we know what roles you're hiring and, and how confident we are to be able to help. So what are the true value of recruitment agencies? Well, recruitment agencies offer a significant business value by leveraging our expertise to optimize the hiring process, reducing costs, and ensuring the acquisition of high quality talent. It offers value to both clients and candidates, but it's crucial to distinguish between those that prioritize meaningful relationships and quality services over those driven solely by the targets, for example, number of placements or revenue goals. So what are the different values that we give to clients? So number one, extended reach, right? We can maintain a really robust database of pre-screened and qualified candidates perfect for that role, providing clients with access to ready pool talent quickly. You don't have to wait. We can send you five perfect people literally within the first 24 hours. Time efficiency. Recruitment process is time consuming. It's stressful. It's a headache. Working with a recruitment agency, we make it fast and we get that headache gone. We handle everything from the labor intensive task of screening to sourcing, talking and qualifying candidates to coordinating. We also take over our scheduling interviews, doing follow-ups, other administrative tasks, all the way to negotiations, making the hiring process smooth and fast. We also are a center of authority or expertise of market insights. A lot of agencies are specialized within their sector or niche. A lot of times because of that, they'll have really good understanding of the trends, what's happening, what's not happening, micro, macro at economic level. This, this specialization will ensure that we will understand the needs of the unique requirements and challenges that they're filling at a given time, regardless of what's happening in the world. We can also help reduce companies risk. Agencies conduct thorough background checks, reference checks, and initial interviews, reducing the risk of bad hires. Many agencies offer guarantees, providing a replacement if the hired cans leaves within a certain period. So not only do we know how to find the perfect candidate, but if something else happens, if some freak situation happens, we will find you a guarantee with no additional cost. And we will, of course, make sure that throughout the interview process, we can do our due diligence that if you do want to pull the trigger and hire the candidate, that everything will be perfect and set in stone. How are some ways that recruitment agencies provide value to candidates? Well, number one, job market navigation. Cans can gain access to a broader range of job opportunities through recruitment agencies, network, many of which may not be advertised publicly. Recruiters can help a candidate application stand out in front of our clients. When we have a really good candidate, we want to make this candidate seem like the best candidate ever out there. So we go out there and we are literally the cheerleaders to the candidates, framing them in a way that no ATS or web submission can ever do for their background. Not only that, if you're a candidate and you work with an agency, not only will they might be able to help you with one job, they might have five other jobs that might be also perfect for your background. So instead of interviewing with one, you can interview with two, three, four off the bat, making that probability of you getting that job that's that much higher. We will also give cans just a lot of guidance and support. We provide coaching and tips for interviews, helping cans present themselves effectively, feedback. We are literally your friend throughout the whole process. We are a therapist and we'll listen to every concern or red flag that you have. And we will just be there, be a punching bag or a pillow for you, making sure that you don't feel like you're alone. And you always feel like you have someone who always has your best interest in mind from start to finish. We're also all about confidentiality and discretion. So for those currently employed, agencies provide a discreet way to explore new opportunities without risking their current position. The last thing you want to do is get your resumes floated randomly or you submit to a job through a website and then word gets around to your employer because they might know someone there.
there and you know you can obviously like rock the boat on the water and you don't want to do that right we can be confidential we know you're passively looking we know you're being opportunistic so we can go in there with our direct relationship with the founders direct relationship with the hiring managers of hr and get you to have a conversation without really compromising your current job we also provide constructive feedbacks on resumes and interviews and we can also negotiate salary and benefits on the can's behalf lastly we offer a personalized approach whatever jobs that you want that we're going to go out there and get it for you right agencies we strive to match cans with roles that align with their skills we're not in the business of just shoving random jobs to you just because we can we genuinely want you to be happy and excited about your next job and if we can help you out there by tailoring it making the whole experience personable that's exactly what we're going to do so how to leverage recruitment agencies effectively well here are some tips for hiring managers and employers to collaborate with agencies number one make sure you define your hiring needs i can't tell you how many conversations i have with founders with hiring managers who know they want to hire but they don't know what they want to hire for the more crystal clear that you can become they really create that target persona the better we can go out there and target exactly kind of like a sniper who exactly in the right profile you're looking for choose the right partner not all agencies are the same all agencies can go out there and find people but the ones that really know the market that have a strong track record that can move fast that offers a five-star personalized approach and knows the ins and outs of that market a dime a dozen right it's very easy to find good recruiters it's very difficult Difficult to find good ones. You want to also establish a contract and process, and most importantly, respect it. We always do an, a typical engagement agreement before every time we start searches for new companies, and just make sure there's no confusions. We're aligned from the beginning, so there's no drama at the end. Set clear expectations and communicate. Tell us how fast you want to hire, how many people you want to hire, what the goals are by a certain date. And for us, we will do the same thing with you. That depending on the role, what we know of it, we will share with you from historical data how long it typically will take, what they can expect working with us how many per perhaps maybe the first batch of cans they can expect within the first week. Last but not least, build a professional relationship because working with the right recruiting partner, we don't just help you one time, we can help you throughout the entire future working together, right? So whether your company continues to scale, whether you need help with other department roles, whether you successfully exit your company and you're starting a brand new one, you can work with the same agency over and over and over again. And the same thing with the candidates. If you got a job through an agency, you stay at that job for three to five years, then you look for another job, you can reach back out to the same agency and more than likely they can help you find another job again. So there's so many ways that you can leverage and remain connected and plugged in with us. So again, kind of applying this again uh, on the candidate side, how can job seekers leverage recruiters? Well, you can build strong relationships because if you do that, we can not only help you now, but also into the future. If you're looking for a job or you end up needing help hiring for your team, your recruiter can help you both ways. Set realistic expectations. Tell us the recruiters what you expect, what your timeline is in terms of your job job search and we will tell you based on our expertise and data what we can do for you and how we can be best aligned. Make sure you communicate clearly. Everything is built or falls apart based on communication. Over communicate what you want, what you don't like, what you love, and we will do our best to tailor jobs for that. Leverage recruiter insights. We can give you a leg up. We can give you a prep on like what questions you can expect on when an interview happens. We can give you insights on new companies that might be hiring in the future that you might be a perfect fit for. Just the list goes on and on and on. So the more you stay close with the recruiter, the more value and info you can get from them. Lastly, follow up after interviews or application of submissions. We help you, we prepare you before the interviews. After the interviews, we will uh, sync up with you again. We will help you follow up, get some feedback. And most importantly, we will continue to fight for your candidacy so that you can have the best leg forward when it comes to giving off the best impressions in whatever interview process you're going through right now. In terms of action steps, if you're an employer, a founder, hiring manager, and you are going into growth mode, or you have this one position that's driving you crazy, reach out to me. We'd love to have a chat and see if we can help. If you're a job seeker, feel free to check out our website or reach out to me directly on YouTube or Instagram or, or LinkedIn. Share with me some other types of roles that you're looking for. If I can help, great. If not, I would happily point you in the right direction or into my network to people that can help. Lastly, I hope you enjoyed this video, but for employers and HR professionals out there, I want to ask you, what are some challenges that you've faced in your hiring process that you believe a recruitment agency can help? And if you've been a job seeker in the past, what has been your experience of recruitment agencies in your job search journey, good or bad? We'd love to hear it. Please comment down below. But if if you like this video, want to see more like it, give us a like, subscribe, click that bell, would really mean a lot. Otherwise, thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.